Hi guys, Brooklyn, and welcome to my channel. So, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I upload videos twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you so, so much for your continued love and support of my channel. I'm really hoping you enjoy my content. So, today's video is going to be my hair care routine. I did one of these, I think, nearly two years ago, like it started 2021, January. I remember doing that dark brunette hair care routine. And it's still up on my channel, so you can check out it if you want to. But since then, obviously, I've changed my hair a bit. I've went fully black once, and then it got some peekaboo copper highlights in my hair. I'm sorry if I'm looking weird, because I'm trying to see where I'm best looking. I'm best looking straight ahead, which is above the camera here. Or I'm best looking at the camera on the screen. I don't know. I actually don't know. So, excuse me if my eyes look weird. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, get this we're meant to be looking at right so without further ado i'm going to go into it so we've got everything from colors to certain colors i use for like the roots and obviously the toner from the hickory highlights from shampoo and conditioners like masks and her 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 styling products and tools and i actually forgot to bring my hairspray off one minute sorted so my hair isn't sitting the nicest. I did let it air dry last night when I washed it yesterday. And I have just brushed it, sprayed some conditioner on it, like leave-in spray. And then I've tied it up in this half up, half down situation. Normally if I'm doing a hair curve video, I like to have my hair sitting really, really nice and straightened or curled or weaved and like smooth looking. But as you can tell from the, the raindrops outside, it was raining and it is raining and I was out. The lamppost of my family at lunchtime, we just came back around half an hour ago, so it was no point me straightening my hair as I was going to plan to do if it wasn't raining, I would have straightened my hair quickly just to have it sit nicely. But there was no point that rain is terrible, and I hate when I do my hair really nice and straightened or any kind of nice style, and then um, I get the rain on it and it just really pisses me off, so it does. So it was like, no, just put it up. <laughs> But then I was sick of one in a hair band, so I was like, you know what, just put it up in a half bath down situation. It's just a bit better and a bit more, just a bit different. Instead of like that their hair band in my hair every time. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Well, not shut up, but get into this video now. Okay, so I'm going to start with the colour. So, what I do on my roots, I don't use permanent all over. I just use a permanent on the roots. And obviously, because I've got to pick up my highlights, I wouldn't use this all over because I'll get rid of them. So I use the Garnet Olea Hair Color. It's a permanent Melmonia oil based hair color in 1.0 which is deep black and it's such a good color. I absolutely love it. Now I have touched this this week to dye my hair. I think it was Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? Yeah it was Wednesday I touched up my roots. And so I have used about two thirds to half of that product. So I have some left over for and needed in them again which I'll be in a week. Not a week, no. Like three weeks or four weeks time, I'll do it again. So, yeah, um, I love Garnier Olea. Like, the hair colour is such good quality and it's better for your hair compared to, like, a harsh permanent. Like, a, an ammonia-based permanent. I find the no ammonia one is, like, better for your hair. And my hair feels nice after colouring. So, um, I did use Nice and Easy with Touch Up Kit the first couple of times after getting my peekaboos on because that does come with a wee bowl and brush. Now I find the Touch Up Kit by them doesn't give me enough product for my hair. Yes, it is a really Touch Up Kit, the like amount of product for an average head of hair, but as you can tell, how thick my hair is, that's not an average head of hair. It's just not like, look, that's like really thick hair and I find the amount to give you in nice and easy isn't enough, but I bought it for the free bowl and brush it comes with. So I bought two in case I needed more. But I used two on different occasions because I just thought it'd be fine. Um but I got a free bowl and brush out of it, which is nice. <laughs> so yeah, um so what I do with this colour, I would do about half or try to get about half out of it. Do half of the developer, half the colour, just carefully measure it out or eyeball it. I just prefer to eyeball it and just see how much I have in the bottle remaining. I just eyeball how much I'm using of each product into the nice and easy 
for a touch up kit ball. Now you can use any ball you want as long as it's not metal if you're going to do this through on her. And then I use a developer and just even it out. Mix it around with a wee brush. And I just basically section my hair off and then I just paint the dye on the roots. Being careful not to touch the ends you probably have done. I think I have a little bit like for the time to doing it but I've been so careful not to but it's I'm doing my own hair so it's not really anything I can completely control so yeah. But yeah I do have a separate video coming up with me doing my hair with the this dye and showing you how to do it. Now it may not be the most professional way because it's hard for me to see what I'm doing at the back but I try my best. But this dye just really, really does work. I find it just makes my hair a nice jet black colour on the roots. As well as can be, which I absolutely love, and it lasts. Now they have reformulated this stand just as good as what it was when I had the big box. It's like I went to here, like the box was like huge, but now I've made it more slimline. I still just as good, and it's more vegan now. It's quite good, so I absolutely love it. Now for the toner, since I don't use permanent all over because it's bad to use it all the time all over your hair. It's not so bad, like it's okay to use it on your roots, but yeah. For the toner I use a semi permanent colour and this is what I use. I have a review on this. I actually have a review on the the Garnet one too, if I could speak. I have reviews on all the colours I've dyed my hair with, pretty much. But that's what it looks like. It's quite flat and I've used it about three times. It's called the Wella Colour Fresh Mask and the shade Copper Glow. This stuff is brilliant for touching up the PW highlights or just refreshing your colour. Because I did on the hairdresser when I got the Pinkie Brie highlights on, I did get some copper toner for it. So this just refreshes it and gets it nice and bright and just lovely looking. I'm so glad I went for copper because I love the copper colour. I love it so much. And I actually am going to go on like, a full on copperless colour very soon. I'm not sure whether I'll do it before Christmas or after Christmas, but I'll do it sometime soon because I'm just really torn with that idea of going copper. Now I do love the black colour, but copper is just called my name. Like the ginger colour is just calling my name. But this colour you can get from just my look. You can get the Garni Olea from any chemist's drugstore online. This one you can get from just my look or their website. They have a lot of different places that stock this um, brand of car colour. But I get it from just my look because it's a bit cheaper. And a cheapskate, but hey ho. You might as well be this day and age. But it does last you a long time. And I've got like three uses of this. And my hair is quite long and thick. So that's good going. I believe I have one, maybe two more uses of this colour before it's gone. But that's fine. But I just love it. It's so good. Now the last thing I have for colour is my root touch up spray. It is the L'Oreal Magic root touch up in the shade black. They have several different shades in this range. So there's a shade for you. No matter what colour your colour is. For any reason. <laughs> But they have like several ones, so it's fine. You'll be able to find, hopefully, your match for the colour. So, this is brilliant for when I don't have time to do my route, but I have somewhere to go. I don't use it all the time. I use it about every so often, because I always like dye my hair, so I don't really need to use it that much. But I find it's perfect for them last minute just cover up any roots on a special occasion say for instance I'm going on a night out it's been like two or three maybe even four weeks since I've done my hair and I haven't got a chance to colour it I will spray it into my hair well I've styled it so we'll do my hair curled or waved or straightened spray it down the parting or we have it up spray it round like this parting and it just covers your hair it covers them roots and it makes it look really really snatched I love this for making your hairline look fuller and making it look more kind of uniform looking so I get some kind of baby hairs around my hairline, I like a load of them and that just kind of makes them look like fuller and just more uniform than the rest of your head pretty much. It's so good. Now it is like a bit more one the pricier side for a top top spray, you can get cheaper ones. I've seen um, the Seos or the Scotch Cuff one and Savers you can get that for cheaper and you think you can get this for like a cheaper price than Savers. So it definitely is worth looking into, they're brilliant especially if you don't like to dye your hair all the time. Say for instance you don't mind having roots for that extra three, two or three weeks. Then it'll be good for you. It'll definitely be brilliant for you because it'll just cover up them roots. I do also have the shade dark brown. Which is quite good too. Because my hair is like black on the roots. I have to use black. So yeah. Now, moving on to the shampoos. 
I've got two main ones which I really really like. Now I don't have any coloured shampoos. If it was fully copper, I would buy like a copper or ginger colour shampoo for that purpose but because we're copper is only in the highlights. It's not so bad so I can just get away with toning it once a month for a day with colour. So these are the shampoos I absolutely love. I'll talk about this one first because I've had it longer. This is the Garni Ultimate Blends. I think it's a coconut shampoo, the smoothing one, coconut oil, this one. Now, I've loved this one the day, I've only got about that much in it. This shampoo is so moisturising. I have a dry hair texture type, so I prefer using the moisturising, nourishing shampoo, like a coconut oil one, or like a hydrating, like a hydrating shampoo I prefer. Especially because I do have some highlights in my hair now, so this one's a must. This just really cleans your hair, but also adds moisture to it. Your hair feels like you've had conditioner treatment in your hair. It just feels amazing. I got this from Savers, I believe. And it's about two or three pounds. You can get it from there. Or Home Robins, you can get it from there too. But it's so good. It's the best shampoo, one of the best ones I've tried. And it's so cheap. And it smells absolutely divine. It's like proper coconut, like chocolatey smell. Beautiful. I just feel like a treat in your hair. I just love it. And it's good for dry scalps too. I do tend to get a bit of a dry scalp, so it's good for not like flirting all up and making your just your whole scalp and hair moisturise. And speaking of dry scalps, this Aveno Oat Shampoo. Now I've only just bought this one. I've tried it a few times, but I have tried. Sorry, the lighting's going bad there. I have tried the one I have before this in the fully white packaging. This oak shampoo is beautiful for dry scalps. It's particularly ba like balanced. Well, it does balance out your pH in your scalp, but it's particularly um, meant for people who suffer from like scalp conditions like dandruff, psoriasis, eczema. I sometimes can get a bit of like dry scalp eczema on my scalp, but I haven't got a bad flare up in ages, like years. Touch wood. I don't get one because it's not nice. But less when I feel my scalp's getting a bit drier or a bit more. Like starting to get a bit irritated, I whip this one out and I just use it as my hair on my shampoo. <laughs> no, I use it on my hair for my shampoo. And it just really smooths like away any flakes. It just makes my scalp feel like soothed and just nourished and nice. It just makes my scalp feel normal and nice and just hydrated and it makes my hair feel lovely too. So yeah, you can get this from Boots. It is a bit more dear than the Garni one, but it's worth it. This one does last ages. Now, on the conditioner, I do have a couple other ones I love. Particularly, I love the Olea conditioner you get in the colour. Black conditioner is amazing. It lasts me a good long time, especially because my hair is thick. They give you a big chew with the conditioner in the Olea dye. But I have it in my shower and I can't be bothered to bring it out. But it lasts me a good three or four times in my hair, which is brilliant, especially because I've got quite thick hair. But... Normally the sha not shampoo, <laughs> the conditioner mask I've been loving. Now I prefer using masks compared to regular conditioners because I find the mask giving me more of a hydrating, deep conditioning effect because I have drier type hair. This is an Ultimate Blends coconut oil mask and this is amazing. Now I do love the hair food one but I prefer this one compared to the hair food one. I think this one works better on your hair. The coconut mask is beautiful. It makes your hair feel like proper hydrated, proper. Just it makes your hair feel nice and smooth and silky and beautiful. And the smell of this. It sounds a bit dirty because it's been in the shower. It all have been, apart from like the colours and the leave-ins. This smells beautiful. Same as the shampoo. It has that beautiful coconut chocolate nourishing, just sweet smell. I absolutely love it. And it is like a wee cheapy, like about three pound I think it is, in like budget stores. But it is beautiful. Get this mask and that shampoo, both of them. Especially if you have like dry hair, dry scalp. Get this now. You will not regret it. It feels absolutely divine in your hair. I absolutely love it. Okay, so on to the styling products leave in. So... When I go to blow dry my hair or even when I'm drying it, I like to spray in a leave-in conditioner. So the three ones I've been loving right now, first off is this Dr. Pawpaw said in one, I think it's like their wee treatment, does it all treatment I think it is. Yeah, I think it says it does it all. 
has some benefits in it and it has it's like a nice cute yellow and black packaging this is like a thick spraying cream into your hair so it's basically like that revlon unique one a dupe of that but it is so good it just when you put it in your hair and you blow dry it in it makes your hair feel nice and smooth and silky and just lovely and if you put it in like dried hair it's been air dried it feels really nice too i love spraying this into my hair because it does amp up the condition in my hair it makes my hair feel like such good condition it is because i haven't like really bleached it apart from taking my highlights in years so it feels amazing this just helps it feel even more smooth and just silky and everything and it just gives me so much hydration and so much more moisturization to my hair which i love and you can get it from home gardens and i think um semi cam or saver to do it but i think i've seen it in home bargains that's where i saw it but it's around two or three pounds at just cheap but a goodie one i just love it so next one which is more of a heat protectant this one does have heat protectant in it but this one is more geared towards like a proper heat protectant spray it is a scorch cuffed curtain smooth or curtain yeah curtain heat it's called and I got it from Home Bargains too. I'm a Home Bargains cream. <laughs> and this is basically like a heat protectant spray that has curtain in it. So it's good for keeping your heart nice and strong. Now since I got my waiver, which my husband got me for my 30th birthday, I have been heat styling my heart a bit more than what I normally do. Now I haven't gone crazy with it. I've done it about once a week. Which is like decent compared to some people. People that do their hair every day with heat tools. I would never do that because it just wrecks your hair. Every time I use a heat product, doesn't matter if it's a hair dryer, straightener, curler, waver, a heat product, heat product. I will spray in leave-in conditioner. Well, heat protectant and leave-in conditioner. Because I want my hair to be protected. Because it will be coloured. So I have to kind of keep it nice. Heat protectant is a must for your hair. I just find it kind of prevents so much damage to your hair. Because heat tools are so hot. So, yeah. Heat protectant all the way. Girls, you need to have heat protectant in your hair when you're recording it or doing whatever to do. It. Like, you need to have it. Like heat protectant is so important just put it in your hair <laughs> but i absolutely love it doesn't matter if it's a blow dryer like a hair dryer or a waver straightener curler i will use this all the time because i do not want to have my hair fried off now since i got the waver from my friday birthday my husband got me it i have been heat shining my hair every week with a waver i've done it a bit more than what i normally do normally i would just use a blow dryer to dry my hair but I have been a bit better with just leaving my hair to air dryer, which is better for your hair than blow drying it. But I prefer blow drying my hair to get it that nicer, smoother style. But since I've been using the waiver when I've been going out at the weekends, I haven't really blow dried my hair as much. But heat styling needs you need to have less heat protectant in your hair when you're heat styling because it will save your hair from so much damage from frying off. Like my hair has never fro like fried off with this because I always tapped it. It's so important because you don't want to have dried out hair. So this one's around three pound in Home Bargains or any other drugstore. Definitely recommend it. It's so good. I've had it for like month and I've got about that much left of it and I've used it every week at least once or twice. So get it. Now I haven't heat my hair once or twice. I do use it as a conditioner too, like a leave-in conditioner. Just want to randomly like spraying some leave-in spray and brush it like today i didn't even heat protect my hair at all i used this in my hair and just brush it through and yeah it just works really well for both so for when i'm blow drying my hair and when i'm putting my products into my hair to get it to look nicest and smoothest style i can ever look i like to use this l'oreal lv dream length no hair cut cream and i'm sorry about that lighting it's doing my head in this packaging is beautiful i love the, the pink like we squirrely lid and the goldy yellow bottle it's so nice now a little of this goes a long way especially even if you have thick hair like i use about about that much in the palm of my hand sorry i'm trying to let the bottle fall about that much and rub it through my fingers massage it into my hair making sure it get anywhere and then i brush it through i do this after i spray in any of my leave-in conditioner and heat protecting so i'll start out this one going with this one Spray, spray, spray. Brush it through the hair. I use this brush. I'll show you. This we um old, <laughs> well loved, well used 
brush from Sally's. I've had it for like three years and I love it. Love the day if it's lovely. Well, it doesn't look lovely anymore because it's got her dye stains and everything on it. <laughs> but it does still does the job, so it's good for me. Brush it through, take some less, rub it through, brush it through again, and then, yeah, go on with an oil. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It just adds that smoothing effect. So when I blow dry my hair, I like to have it smooth, like I said before. This is smooth and conditions your hair. Like I like to add a lot of moisture into my hair just to keep it nice and silky. Like I said before, we do repeat it all the time. But yeah, it's quite an affordable um, product. I think it's around a five pound mark. But this is a big bottle. Could be more actually. I'm not entirely sure the exact price, but I'll try to put it here to show you. But a little of this goes a long way. Now I haven't blow dried my hair as much anymore. So for a mind lot. But I've had it for a couple of months. And I've still got pretty much a full bottle of this left. It's so good. So yeah. Definitely recommend that. The last thing I use in my hair before I like blow dry. My husband's like walking around the house. Sorry about that. Is this a Necto Coconut Oil Serum. Now another product from Home Barkins. <laughs> Like, I get my products everywhere from Home Bargains and Home Bargains quite like I said before. Like, Home Bargains, Home Bargains, Home... I'm not sponsored by Home Bargains, I wish I was low, but I'm not. So this is like the Inecto Coconut Oil Serum. It's a wee cheapy one from Home Bargains, like I said before. <laughs> I've got about that much left of it. Like, about that much. And I've had it for like a year, I think. I use around two pumps, one or two pumps, into my hair, on the mid-lengths and ends. The same technique you use for lip bliss, and I wouldn't put this on the roots, put it on the mid lengths and ends and work with the roots. See, I'm a flat mid lengths and ends, well, like rubber through my head, my hair, my head, no, my hair. <laughs> rubber through the lengths of my hair like that. <laughs> Brush it through and kind of shove it the roots, but not too much, like the excess of my hands, like for the flyaways like that. And then I go in with a blow dryer. This stuff is so nice, it makes my hair feel like silky and hydrated and just nourished the oil just really does help nourish your hair which is really really nice now it's not a favorite coconut oil i have had ones that are better than this but this one does a job for me and i also like it for finishing like a straightening style for instance if i've blow dried my hair and i have it straight and i'm satisfied with how straight it is i will go in for another pump of this and rub it through the mid lengths and then to add that smooth and shine and add moisture back after blow dry and heck out of my hair. But it's so good, it's a nice wee oil for like on a budget. I love it. I do want to try the OG X one once I run out of lot, I will go and buy that one. And I do like the um, macadamia oil, but that one's there, but I will get it at some point soon. I think I'll like get the macadamia oil next time. It's just so good. Okay. Last item product, I never use a hairspray when I straighten my hair or blow dry it. It's only when I have my hair curly. I even don't use it when I have my hair weekly because I like that free movement in my hair. But when I have my hair curly, like say for instance using my Wicker Weaver by um, Mark Hill the Pick and Mix range or any kind of curler, I'm um, always just spray my hair every section with this. Now I do prefer the um, L Net by L'Oreal one but I don't have any of that left. But it gets from a birthday. It's the Bristol's Super Hold Hairspray. Ultra Hold, sorry. This one. It's a wee cheapy couple of pounds. I think it's like a one pound or two pound. I think it's around that price anyway. But it does a job. This will hold my hair all night. And it will make my hair last for days until I wash my hair again. Like last time I did my hair curly with a wicker waver. I sprayed it in my hair. And my hair, no joke, was curly until I washed it like a few days later. It just makes your hair last. Now, I definitely recommend this one because it does last loads. It's just a good size bottle and it does hold your style. And yeah, it's just good. I prefer the little Elnet one, but this one's quite good for the curls. So, last product before going to my heat tools are Lee's Root Sprays. Now, I do like the Lee Stafford um, hair growth one. I have that in my copper but I can't be bothered bringing it out. These ones are like pretty much near off empty. This one isn't that much, but this one is. This one is because I do have dry scalp, but I do like to kind of use some hair growth products. I, I do take some like hair growth gummies too by Home Bargains. 
Um, this is Lee Stafford's scalp love. Sorry, this lighting is through my head in, sorry. Scalp love hair growth leave in tonic. So basically you spray it in to your roots with this bottle. Like you just take it and spray it in over your roots, massage it in, brush your hair, done. I like to use about several sprays in this of this product in my head, in my scalp. Um I've had it for like I would say nearly a year and I just ran out of it now. It really makes my scalp feel more moisturised. It helps any dry, flaky scalp I get. It just kinda of takes care of it. And it makes my hair like I think it helps my hair grow too and it's like an anti hair loss one so it helps your hair like grow and not kind of be damaged by dry scalp pretty much it's just so good and i absolutely love it and do you have different like versions of this to have like i think a really deep conditioning scalp one too and obviously the hair growth one from the hair growth range i do like the waterman's one like i tried the waterman's one i think i even mentioned that in my last hair growth video like a year and a half nearly two years ago but this one is such good too it's nice just nice to spray in now this one is by Skin Labo. It's a hair growth like scalp tonic. Now, this may be a weird technique, but I spray this into my hairline around here. Because I find this one does strengthen up the baby hairs and make them grow in better. Whereas like, the scalp love one just kind of takes care of the dry scalp and helps the hair grow a bit more. But this one helps like the baby hairs get stronger too. Like I prefer that. Now, I love this product too but I don't like the fact that it's a really tiny bottle it's so tiny you run out of it really quick but it is a nice product I just love Skin Labo it's a good brand for like beauty so last section of this hair care routine video is the styling products I use so first off is this I think it's like a Tresemme hair dryer my husband got me it for Christmas one year it's just basically like a basic hair dryer but it's so good now I use this to dry my hair and I use a nozzle to blow dry it straight. So what I do is take the brush, where is it? And just kind of go in, blow dry it straight like that. But say for instance if my hair is like really, really damp like wet, I will just brush my hair back, do the roots like that and just kind of go over like that. I just kind of, I might even do a wet to dry hair curl video if you want me to just do that, just let me know. But yeah, I just basically blow dry my hair straight with this and it just works really, really well. It's so good. Okay, so the straighteners I use, which is in this carry bag, is my trusted GHD straighteners, a classic styler, but they're the Pink Orchid collection from like 2013. I bought these straighteners like nine years ago this month for at my 21st birthday. So my 21st birthday was in June, but I bought it like in September that, of that year. And that's what it looked like. Like I love the way they're pink and black, but like the black, grey, classic stylers. They're just like that. And like I love the pink plates. Now, I would definitely recommend for really good hair straighteners. I just love them. I find they make my hair like proper straight. I find the cheapy straighteners don't really work on my hair because I've got such thick hair. Same with the curl, like the cheapy hair colours I find don't really work on my hair because my hair is quite thick and heavy. But GHD just really smooth my hair out and straighten it. Now, I really straighten my hair for a straightener, but if I do, I will use these because they're just so good. They are dear, they're expensive, but they're worth it. Like, they last year. I remember when I got my first pair of GHDs when I was 15 from the Christmas after my 15th birthday in 2007. And I had them GHDs until 2013, until my sister broke them on me. <laughs> Still wanted to swing for her that day. I did. I should have really got her to buy me a new pair, shouldn't I? But hey ho, these are just amazing. Now the third heat tool product which I love, which is my um, Mark Hill Pick and Mix Waver, which is downstairs, and I can't be bothered to bring it up to show you. But I'll put a picture of what it looks like here. This is what I've been using most of the time, recent months, to style my hair. Like I love doing the mermaid waves. I do have the wicked waver, like the, it's basically a car I wouldn't really call it waver. I have videos on both of them. I'll try to link them down below if I remember, but if I don't, just look at my channel, I'll, they'll be there. But, um, the Mark Hill the Mark Hill Mix range is amazing. Like, they really, really style my thick hair 
and make it last. Like I love the mermaid waver and the wicker waver. Basically it's called texture waver now but I call it wicker waver. That's what it's all been called up until recent times. So yeah, I love that pick and mix range and I am going to get some more of the handles. So basically the pick and mix range, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, it's the Mark Hill range. So basically you get a handle, I have two different types of handles. I have a straight handle, which is the one I have, and I have one that can be straight and it can be like curved, like bent, like that, for easy curls. So um, you pick your handle, then you pick a head, for, and you can also pick the, your travel bag. I just got the handle and the waiver for my birthday. So you can reattach different heads under the handle so we can take one off, grab another one, put that one on and it's just a good idea, it's an amazing idea so say for instance you can't be bothered to buy all the different hair tools, you just want one handle or two if you want two handles which I'll probably get the bent one soon, you can have that and whatever style you want that's whatever head you use pretty much so they have straighteners that have different types of colours, loads of curling barrels and have waivers like corkery one, like corkery curls, like the wee chapstick ones. They have big, massive curls, like barrels. <laughs> Everything in between. Like I want to get the zigzag waver too. No, well, as a waver, but it wouldn't really count as a waver for me. It's more of a curler, but it's like a zigzag shape, similar to the Wicca waver. And I want to get like, one of the regular medium-sized barrels too. That's what my wish is for this year. <laughs> so, Connor, my husband. <laughs> That's on your list, love. So, yeah, um, just love it. I love that range. And it's just so quick. It's half my time for doing my hair. I do have a Tresemme curler, which is okay. It is a good curler, but it doesn't really work on my hair because my hair's that thick. Well, it does work, but it takes ages and doesn't really last unless I pin it up the leg set and set but I prefer to not kill sorry treads me <laughs> but yeah so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one stay gorgeous god bless bye